I want every northern maester to scour their records for any mention of Dragonglass. Dragonglass kills white walkers. It's more valuable to us now than gold. We need to find it, we need to mine it, we need to make weapons from it. Everyone, age 10 to 60, will drill daily with spears, pikes, bow and arrow. It's about time we taught these boys of summer how to fight. <laughs> Not just the boys. We can't defend the North if only half the population is fighting. You expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. I might be small, Lord Glover, and I might be a girl, but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Indeed you are, my lady. No one and is quite... And I don't need your permission to defend the north. We'll begin training every man, woman, boy and girl on Bear Island. While we're preparing for attack, we need to shore up our defences. The only thing standing between us and the army of the dead is the wall, and the wall hasn't been properly manned in centuries. I'm not the king of the free folk. But if we're going to survive this winter together... <sighs> you want us to man the castles for you? Aye. Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardholm. The closest castle to Hardholm is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're the Night's Watch now. If they breach the wall, the first two castles in their path are Last Hearth and Carhold. When I was Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, I executed men who betrayed me. I executed men who refused to follow orders. My father always said, the man who passes the sentence should swing the sword, and I have tried to live by those words. But I will not punish a son for his father's sins, and I will not take a family home away from a family it has belonged to for centuries. That is my decision, and my decision is final. Net Umar. Alice Karstark. For centuries, our families fought side by side on the battlefield. I ask you to pledge your loyalty once again to House Stark, to serve as our bannerman and come to our aid whenever called upon. Stunned. Yesterday's wars don't matter anymore. The North needs to band together. All the living North. Will you stand beside me, Ned and Alice, now and always? Now and always. I believe you have a role to play. As does another. The King in the North, Jon Snow. Jon Snow? Ned Stark's bastard. You know him? Traveled with him to the war when he joined the Night's Watch. And why do you think the Lord of Light singled out this Jon Snow, aside from the visions you've seen in the flames, that is? As Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, he allowed the wildlings south of the wall to protect them from great danger. As King in the North, he has united those wildlings with the Northern Houses, so together they may face their common enemy. He sounds like quite a man. Summon Jon Snow. Let him stand before you and tell you the things that have happened to him. The things that he has seen with his own eyes. I can't speak to prophecies or visions in the flames, but I like Jon Snow and I trusted him. And I am an excellent judge of character. If he does rule the North, he would make a valuable ally. The Lannisters executed his father and conspired to murder his brother. Jon Snow has even more reason to hate Cersei than you do. 
Very well. Send a raven north. Tell Jon Snow that his queen invites him to come to Dragonstone. And bend the knee. Gather round. Come here. I think it's really Tyrion. It could be someone trying to lure you into a trap. Read the last bit. All dwarves are bastards in their father's eyes. What does that mean? It's something he said to me the first night we met. You know him better than any of us. What do you think? Tyrion's not like the other Lannisters. He was always kind to me, but it's too great a risk. The Seven Kingdoms will bleed as long as Cersei sits on the Iron Throne. Join us. Together we can end her tyranny. Sounds like a charmer. Of course, the casual mention of a Dothraki horde, a legion of unsullied and three dragons, a bit less charming. What? Fire kills whites, you told me. What breathes fire? You're not suggesting John meet with her? No, too dangerous. But? But if the army of the dead makes it past the wall, do we have enough men to fight them? Amazing thing to see. I named them for my brothers, Viserys and Rhaegar. They're both gone now. You lost two brothers as well. People thought dragons were gone forever, but here they are. Perhaps we should all be examining what we think we know. You've been talking to Tyrion. He is my hand. He enjoys talking. We all enjoy what we're good at. No, I don't. You know I'm not going to let Cersei stay on the Iron Throne. I never expected that you would. And I haven't changed my mind about which kingdoms belong to that throne. I haven't either. I will allow you to mine the dragon glass and forge weapons from it. Any resources or men you need, I will provide for you. Thank you. So you believe me, then, about the Night King and the Army of the Dead? You'd better get to work, Jon Snow. What do you think I should do? I never thought that dragons would exist again. No one did. The people who follow you know that you made something impossible happen. Maybe that helps them believe that you can make other impossible things happen. Build a world that's different from the shit one they've always known. But if you use them to melt castles and burn cities, you're not different. You're just more of the same. What do you think of her? Who? I believe you know of whom I speak. I think she has a good heart. A good heart? I've noticed you're staring at a good heart. There's no time for that. I saw the Night King, Davos. I looked into his eyes. How many men do we have in the North to fight him? 10,000 less? Fewer. What? Speaking of good hearts, 
the Sunday of North. Sir Davos, Lord Snow. King Snow, isn't it? No, that doesn't sound right. King John? It doesn't matter. Forgive me, but may I ask a question? Of course. Your name is John Snow, but your father's name was Ned Stark. I'm a bastard. My mother and father weren't married. Is the custom different in North? We don't have marriage in North, so the concept of a bastard doesn't exist. That sounds liberating. Why did you leave your homeland? I was stolen away by slavers. I'm sorry. If I may, how did a slave girl come to advise Daenerys Targaryen? She bought me for my master and set me free. That was good of her. Of course, you're serving her now, aren't you? I serve my queen because I want to serve my queen. Because I believe in her. And if you wanted to sail home to Narth tomorrow? Then she would give me a ship and wish me good fortune. You believe that? I know it. All of us who came with her from Essos, we believe in her. She's not our queen because she's the daughter of some king we never knew. She's the queen we chose. Will you forgive me if I switch sides? Is that a Greyjoy ship? John? I didn't know you were here. S Sansa. I see all right. <laughs> what you did for her is the only reason I'm not killing you. We heard your uncle attacked your fleet. We thought you were dead. I should be. Your sister? Euron has her. I came to ask the Queen to help me get her back. The Queen is gone. Where did she go? We should be better at saying farewell by now. Your grace, I... If I don't return, at least you won't have to deal with the king in the north anymore. I've grown used to him. I wish you good fortune in the wars to come, Your Grace. I saw you once at Winterfell. They want to go beyond the wall, too. We don't want to go beyond the wall. We have to. Our Lord told us that the Great War is don't coming. Don't trust him. Don't trust any of them. 
It doesn't matter what we think our reasons are. There's a greater purpose at work. And we serve it together, whether we know it or not. We may take the steps, but the Lord of Light... For fuck's the... sake, will you shut your hole? Are we coming with you or not? Then you want to know what we're doing? Is it worse than sitting in a freezing cell waiting to die? He's right. We're all on the same side. How can we be? We're all breathing. Of course I did. When he was hand, he sent me off hunting for the mountain. Your wildling friend told me the Red Woman brought you back. Thoris has brought me back six times. We both serve the same Lord. I serve the North. The North didn't raise you from the dead. The Lord of Light never spoke to me. I don't know anything about him. I don't know what he wants from me. He wants you alive. Why? I don't know. That's all anyone can tell me. I don't know. So what's the point in serving a god if none of us knows what he wants? I think about that all the time. But we all die. The enemy always wins. And we still need to fight him. That's all I know. You and I won't find much joy while we're here. But we can keep others alive. We can defend those who can't defend themselves. I'm the shield that guards the realms of men. Maybe we don't need to understand any more than that. We have to burn his body. We'll all be closed behind him. Unless the Lord of Light is kind enough to send us a bit of fire. Lord of Light. Come to us in our darkness. you back and he brought me back no one else just us did he do it to watch us freeze to death careful Beric you lost your priest this is your last life
This isn't about living in harmony. It's just about living. The same thing is coming for all of us. A general you can't negotiate with. An army that doesn't leave corpses behind on the battlefield. Lord Tyrion tells me a million people live in this city. They're about to become a million more soldiers in the army of the dead. I imagine for most of them it would be an improvement. This is serious. I wouldn't be here if it weren't. I don't think it's serious at all. I think it's another bad joke. If my brother Jamie has informed me correctly, you're asking me for a truce. We can destroy them by burning them. And we can destroy them with dragon glass. If we don't win this fight, then that is the fate of every person in the world. I'm grateful for your loyalty, but my dragon died so that we could be here. If it's all for nothing, then he died for nothing. I know. I'm pleased you bent the knee to our queen. I would have advised it, had you asked. But have you ever considered learning how to lie every now and then? Just a bit. I'm not gonna swear an oath I can't uphold. Talk about my father if you want. Tell me that's the attitude that got him killed. But when enough people make false promises, words stop meaning anything. Then there are no more answers, only better and better lies. And lies won't help us in this fight. That is indeed a problem. The more immediate problem is that we're fucked. Any ideas as to how we might change that state of affairs? My armies will not stand down. I will not pull them back to the capital. I will march them north to fight alongside you in the Great War. The darkness is coming for us all. We will face it together. And when the Great War is over, perhaps you'll remember I chose to help no promises or assurances from any of you. I expect not. Call our banners. All of them. This is his writing, his signature. He pledged to fight for Daenerys Targaryen. He's bent the knee. I've heard gossip. He's the Dragon Queen. Quite beautiful. What does that have to do with anything? John is young and unmarried. Daenerys is young and unmarried. You think he wants to marry her? An alliance makes sense. Together they'd be difficult to defeat. He was named King in the North. He can be unnamed. Even if I wanted to, Arya would never go along. Father. Father. 